What's going on everybody? Jesse here and in this video I want to talk about an upcoming series on the channel where we will be using C++ in the Unreal Engine. Generally when starting a new series I don't do an introduction to that series but with this C++ series I figured it would be important to talk about what my goals will be as well as what you should know before you get started. In this series, I want to show you how you can prototype your projects and blueprints and then easily convert that into C++. I'll explain some of the basic fundamentals of properly writing your code using the Unreal Framework, including using such things as uProperty, uFunction, structs, and enums. Most of what this playlist will include will be short one-off videos demonstrating how to implement functions and procedures, such as building your player controllers, using delegates, and performing things such as line tracing. I will also be including increasingly more difficult blueprint functionality that we will also convert into C++. This will not be a project-driven series. While I will be teaching beginning level C++ in the Unreal Engine, this will not be a C++ primer. While you don't need to be a C++ expert, it is important that you understand some basic C++ fundamentals. Before starting this series, I believe you should have a basic understanding of the C++ syntax. You should understand the difference between a header file and a CPP file. You should understand the different variable types as well as how and where they are declared. You should have a basic understanding of what object-oriented programming and polymorphism are. A general understanding of what a pointer is and the difference between a pointer and a reference. You should understand what scope is. And lastly, you should be familiar with the IDE that you choose to use. As I mentioned, you don't need to be an expert in any of these areas, but having a firm grasp of its concepts will help you as you navigate through writing your code in the Unreal Engine. Generally speaking, you should be able to grasp these concepts in a matter of a couple days, while mastering the C++ language itself can take several years of dedicated learning. Don't let any of this discourage you as writing your C++ using the Unreal Engine is a lot simpler than you might think. Understand that while you are writing C++ inside of Unreal, it is not the same thing as writing straight C++. Unreal has a massive framework and a substantial library of helper functions that make writing your code in C++ a whole lot easier. After all, you won't be responsible for writing your own physics engine or implementing your own garbage collection. If you understand what the functions do in blueprints, then you should easily be able to translate that into C++ as long as you understand some of these basic fundamentals. Obviously, you're going to need the Unreal Engine. You do not need to build the engine from source in order to use C++. You also need to get an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. The most common option is using Visual Studio. If you choose Visual Studio, you need to have version 2019 or 2022 if using Unreal 5 or newer. However, I suggest you use 2022 as reports show that 2022 is nearly twice as fast as 2019 when indexing the source code, as well as it ensures future compatibility with newer versions of Unreal. Visual Studio Community is a free download for you to use. VS Code is another option that you can use, which is also made by Microsoft. It's a lighter weight IDE compared to Visual Studio, but it also lacks some of the functionality that you would get from Visual Studio. VS Code is also free to use. The last option I'm going to discuss is the Writer IDE. Writer is what you will see me use in my videos. While Writer used to be free during development as it integrated with the Unreal Engine, that is no longer the case. However, if you plan on doing a lot of coding in C++, I'd highly recommend that you use Writer because their integration with the Unreal Engine is far superior to anybody else and will make writing your code a whole lot easier and faster. It is fairly expensive software, but take a look at their special offer section of their website and see if you qualify for any of the free or discounted versions. The version of Writer I'm using was given to me free because I'm an academic staff member at a university. So, if you're a current student or work for an educational facility, you could also qualify to receive the software for free. There are restrictions, but until you're ready to go commercial with your projects, it's not something you'll need to worry about. And that's it. I hope you're as excited as I am to get the series started. I've had a lot of requests over the years to do a C++ series, and now I'm finally in a position to be able to do that. Look down in the description for links to the various IDE that I mentioned in this video, as well as links to the documentation on how to set up Visual Studio so that it works with Unreal. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the description below, or feel free to join my Discord server and join the conversation over there. And until the next video, peace.